If you watched the episodes that we did about testosterone and estrogen, if you watched the episode that I did on f male and female fertility, if you watched the episode that I did with Dr. Michael Eisenberg from Stanford or Dr. Natalie Crawford, who's an OBGYN uh, specializing in fertility, we talked a lot about LH and FSH. Basically, FSH, as the name suggests, stimulates the growth of the follicle, the egg in the female, and it stimulates sperm production in males. Luteinizing hormone stimulates testosterone production from the gonad in males, and it also stimulates estrogen production, and to some extent, testosterone production in females as well. So we need LH and FSH to stimulate the gonads, the ovary or the testes. The hormone that stimulates LH and FSH release is called GNRH, or gonadotropin releasing hormone, and it comes from the hypothalamus. So GNRH is a signal that promotes LH and FSH release. Now that raises the question, what turns on GNRH? And the signal that turns on GNRH is kisspeptin. Kisspeptin, in other words, is further upstream from GNRH and LSH and FSH. It's a cascade. It goes kisspeptin, GNRH, LH, FSH, testosterone, estrogen. 